What is the most neckbeard thing you've experienced? Dude running right by me with a Rick and Morty t-shirt, a fedora, a goatee, a baggy dress pants, a Vans. He existed only as a blur, but in one slight instance I got a full portrait. A very visceral and exciting moment to be alive. My sister's godparents had a 30-year-old son, who lived in their basement. I had to sleep down there in a room across from his back in the day, and I remember never being able to sleep, because he would stay up all night watching anime, or playing PS2 games, which was weird because it was like. 2013, I remember walking into his room when he was gone and seeing a bunch of anime figures, two katanas hanging on the wall, a laptop covered in anime stickers, tons of comic books, or more specifically manga, and strangely no bed. Later found out he slept in the closet with no mattress or anything, just a big dude squished into a tiny closet with a body pillow and a blanket. I'm a hardcore board gamer and me and my buddies have been into board games since the 80s yeah. I still hang out with dudes I grew up with in the 80s. I'm a dad now and I want to get my kid into board games too so instead of all the overly complex games I usually buy or play I started adding more simple family friendly games to my collection. Anyway a few years ago over on the our board game sub someone asked the question. What's your favorite board game and why? And I answered, King of Tokyo, which is basically a Yahtzee type game, and said that the reason it was my favorite game is because it's a simple game with rules anyone can understand and anyone who plays it, regardless of age, can be competitive. No shit, some dude wrote 10 paragraphs outlining why I was wrong. They then explained that the fact that anyone can be competitive at the game despite not having spent hundreds of hours playing proves it's a shit game. It was unbelievable. What was even worse was that he had other neckbeards come to his aid and continued to chastise me on my pick of fucking King of Tokyo as my favorite board game. One ended up deleting the post because some of these dickheads were sending me private messages. In a study hall me and my friends were complaining about Rise of Skywalker. And some guy walks up to us and loudly shouts, you guys are talking about Star Wars. He then proceeded to complain about how the new Star Wars trilogy sucks because Daisy Ridley is unattractive. And then goes on to complain about how resting bitch face is annoying. At this point my friend Bill being polite tells him, I respect your opinion, but can you please leave? Then this guy says well, I was about to leave, but I don't like being told what to do. So, I'll tell you what if you grovel at my feet and beg for forgiveness, I might just leave. My other friend Jen said no, fuck off, and then he said, you're as unattractive as Daisy Ridley, and then he huffily storms off. T.I. D.R., someone complained that the new Star Wars trilogy was bad because Daisy Ridley was unattractive. And when told to leave he indirectly complimented my friend. Was at a Chinese buffet restaurant, and saw this huge dude in a literal fedora, and one of those stupid, im not arguing him just explaining why im right shirts with the neck beard and all. I was just about ready to leave when the dude walked in so I don't know if he acted stupid or not. When I went to college there was always this group of neckbeards in the cafeteria. Some of them looked like they were in their thirties. They would yell about Magic the Gathering and were super loud. I don't miss it. I was playing poker once with a group of friends, and when one of them got back from the bathroom, he sat down and with a generous inviting gesture said well, noradrenophrone. Why don't you tell us guys once and for all where the G-spot is? It wasn't even vaguely on topic. I was the only woman there, but he was the only one who wasn't uncomfortable. We just played on without acknowledging his question. I remember once I was waiting for the bus on my college's campus. Guy drives by blasting the Rick and Morty theme song on repeat with the windows down. All I could see was this guy in what appeared to be a black trench coat with a patchy beard looking proudly out at everyone watching like there couldn't be anything cooler than what he was doing. It was both baffling and incredibly cringeworthy. In a study hall me and my friends were complaining about Rise of Skywalker. And some guy walks up to us and loudly shouts, you guys are talking about Star Wars. He then proceeded to complain about how the new Star Wars trilogy sucks because Daisy Ridley is unattractive. And then goes on to complain about how resting bitch face is annoying. At this point my friend Bill being polite tells him, I respect your opinion, but can you please leave? Then this guy says well, I was about to leave, but I don't like being told what to do. 
So, I'll tell you what if you grovel at my feet and beg for forgiveness, I might just leave. My other friend Jen said, no, fuck off, and then he said, you're as unattractive as Daisy Ridley, and then he huffily storms off. T.I. D.R. Someone complained that the new Star Wars trilogy was bad because Daisy Ridley was unattractive. And when told to leave he indirectly complimented my friend. Thank you for watching to the end. Like and subscribe for more videos like this one.